now. Here's the man with the job that everybody envies. Look, and he's getting paid for driving ATV every day. Look at that man. <laughs> All about sport. Jamwis is owned by a local family. The property is over 380 acres. We evolved from being a good farm. Let's get that first out of the way. We're a good farm first. And then from a good farm, we moved on into motor racing. We have a lot of goats here on property, a lot. a lot. So this is where you get to come on down to Jam West and you get to learn about our Jamaican culture. ATV is perceived as very touristy. It's not really perceived as a local thing. Uh -huh. When I see <laughs> ATVs being sold, I'm always, eh, Jamaicans never come on ATVs. It's only for tourists. Is it true? This video is sponsored by you. Thank you so much for the support. My name is Irina and for the last nine years I've been living and traveling around Jamaica. I've done some of the most remote, off the beaten path things like hiking to Blue Mountain Peak, Taki Falls or places people never even heard of like Dromley Cave or Edinburgh Castle. And yes, there is one in Jamaica. However, during all these years, I've never done any popular tourist activities. You know the ones I'm talking about, right? The zip line, ATV rides, swimming with horses and things like that. So when people asked me about things to do in Jamaica, I could tell them a lot about camping, but not so much about an ATV ride. Yet many people wanted the ATV. So with this episode, we're going to one of the largest adventure parks in Jamaica to check out their activities and see if they are really as awesome as some people say, or is it just a tourist trap? Welcome to Jamwes Motorsports and Adventure Park. My name is Orlando, Tour Operations Manager here at Jamwes. Been working with the company for over four years. This is where the fun is. This is our souvenir shop and also one of our photo shops is located here as well. So once the clients have completed all their excursions, this is the era that they would come view their photos and for sure they would get them for purchase here as well. Also, we have our little gift shop area as well, where you can get your souvenirs to take back home with you. And then, we make our way into the clubhouse area. This is here we have the Jamwes Cafe, and of course, this is where you can get your freshly baked Jamaican products. Number one on the list is our beef and cheese patties. You also get that with the cocoa bread, otherwise called the folding bread. And then over here, you have the grill, all right? Now, as you can see, this is one of a kind. The only place you'll find this kind of grill is here at Jamwes Motorsports and Adventure Park. Come around and take a look what's on the grill for today. All right, and then over here, we have one of the two bars that we have on property. For sure, you'd want some alcohol beverages while you're here. We have one of our bars on this side. And then this is our second Photoshop area as well. Why do you need two? Because of the high volume of customers that we have on a daily basis. We want to give each guest adequate time to view their photos where they are not being rushed. Hence the reason why we use two areas. This is the area that we utilize for check-in. So we take our guests, seat them in this area. And then we have a receptionist who would come on over and do the registration and welcome them to Jamwes Motorsports and Adventure Park. To my right, we have another bar. Now, the bar can't be too much here on property. Yes, even though we do, we do ensure that our customers drink responsibly here at Jamwes. 
All right, good morning. I want to give you a warm welcome to Jump West Motorsports and Adventure Park. My name is Cameron, one of the ATV tour guides. I'm going to show you how to operate the bike real quick. Make you watch a safety video, get a helmet on. I'm going to do a few laps in the training area before going to the actual truck. So it's two persons per vehicle. If you want to go by yourself, you don't have to use the bike. You can double on the bike also. Any questions? All right, so for now, you're going to watch a safety video. And to finish with that part, I'm going to put your helmets on, okay? the quads here. The quads is a double seater as well. You can bring the passenger on the back and we do it single as well. So these are the quads. So definitely if you're a driver it's still an automatic vehicle. You just sit, gas brake, very easy to handle. Hi, my name is Marvin Johnson here at Jam West. I'm your tour guide for the ATV. I'm gonna take you on an adventure tour today. Grandison. I'm the sales and marketing coordinator here at Jamwest Motorsports and Adventure Park. I've been here for five years. So Jamwest is an adventurous dream. We have a variety of events, uh, tours, whether that be adrenaline or non-adrenaline rush activities. We evolve from being a good farm. Let's get that first out of the way. We're a good farm first. And then from a good farm, we moved on into motor racing. And then from the racing facility, we then added on uh, Adventure Park. Just to be able to bring you a little bit uh, in terms of uh, how we progress from that. The property is over 380 acres. Jamwis is owned by a local family. It's a Gordon family, headed up by Ian Gordon, who is the CEO and chairman. And then we also have Shine Gordon, who is our director. So everything was created and conceptualized with a family. The owners, they've been interested in motor space. And towards my left is our speedway, Jamway Speedway. It's the longest speedway in the entire Caribbean. It is also FIA certified, which means we can do the stuff like NASCARs, the Italian race, all of that, where you can easily see those motor racing championship happens. You are located in an area that is not really right next to any big city. Yes. But it's still easy to reach you. We're at the end of the western part of Jamaica, the end of the north coast, and the beginning of the south coast. So you're getting a mixture of everything if you want to say, okay, cool, I went to the north coast, and I went to the south coast, and I went to the western side of the island. It is also designed in an eco-friendly space. As you will see, a lot of the, um, the property, trees are all over the place. We aren't damaging anything. So it was just created to give you that unique uh, off-road, uh, off the beaten path, kind of experience while still feeling like hey I can't believe all of this really is here so we have a variety of tours that we offer here at Jamus Motorsports and Adventure Park we do have horseback riding which of course is a land and beach ride even if you're a first-time rider for sure you can come and enjoy our horseback riding tour just the same. It's a guided tour, we take you down on the beach. You also get to go through a small community, so you get to see how some of the locals live. You also have the push cart. Now, if you have seen the movie Cool Runnings, yes, that is what inspired us to do what we call here at Jamwa's push cart. Now, if you're a big fan of roller coaster, it is similar to the roller coaster. Come feel the rhythm, feel the ride at Jamwa's and our push cart tour. Most of the activities that we have here, they would consider to be geared as adults. But we do have an area for the kids where they can come and have a wonderful time here. We have our trampoline, and we also have our bouncer boat as well that they can partake in. We have the jungle gym over on that side. 
so they get to enjoy themselves for the entire day. Do adults have to pay for that? Yes, it do come at a cost. However, once you book a tour with us here at Jamwest, then it automatically is included in your package. Good morning. You're speaking with Angie here, all right? I'm your tour guide. So welcome to the Bird Avery and the Petting Zoo. So here we actually have a pair of Scarlet Mackay. They talk a lot, so with them you can interact. At times they would say hello or yo wagwan. Yeah, <laughs> really? that's what they thought. Yeah, okay. like for real. Here we have the lovebirds. Uh -huh. Yeah, they are always kissing, always cuddling. Everyone is coupled out, everyone is speared out. Yeah, we have Amazon parrots. Indian ringneck parrots. Yeah, we have a lot of different variety of parrots. We have a goat over there. That's Billy the petting goat. What's up, Billy? Oh, hello, Billy. Does he go for a walk sometimes? Yeah, he does. Oh. He does. He does go for. We a have walk. a lot of goats here on property. A lot. This one is the pet. Hello. Oh. So right over here I have three. So this is one of the experiences that the guests will indeed enjoy. And trust me, this takes some level of training on a daily basis to have them eating from your hands like this. We also have our newly added, or I should say our revamped tour. Usually the safari tour, we have revamped that now, and we currently have that as the Jam Culture Experience. So this is where you get to come on down to Jam West, and you get to learn about our Jamaican culture. It is a guided tour. You board one of our shuttles, along with one of our guides. We take you through the mangroves. You get to learn about the mangroves. You get to learn about herbs and spices as well on that tour. You also get to see different animals. You get to see the crocodiles, you get to see the snakes, wild hogs, just to name a few. All of that, that is packed in a nice package on the Jam Culture Experience. This is very nice. Do you also go through some villages? Not on the Jam Culture Experience. On which one? Is on the horseback riding, oh, horseback riding and the ATV. to go into ATV, when did that start? Well, that started just roughly around the same time when we were doing motor racing because we started doing drag racing first. And then there is a mineral bath here on property. And so after the races, they'll go to the mineral bath and they will just cool off after they race. And so everybody was like, okay, we need a little bit, something else for the family who aren't doing motor racing. And so the ATV came about. And so you as a child or a, a wife or a cousin or even a husband who wasn't involved in motor racing, you can eat a little bit more adrenaline stuff. And then the zip line came about, which were erected in towers. And so we didn't damage any trees to create that. So you can be able to have something else, adrenaline. Do you go on ATVs yourself? I love the ATVs and the zip line because I love I love that feeling, that rush that I get, and uh, I think those two give, give me it the most. ATV is perceived as very touristy. It's not really perceived as a local thing. Uh -huh. When I see <laughs> ATVs being sold, I'm always, eh, Jamaicans never come on ATVs. It's only for tourists. Is it true? No, that isn't true. Not at all, at all true, because how we actually started, everything at Jamboys was started with locals. And it's after we've actually been embraced by the locals that we went into the tourist market. 
I mean, our history in motor racing is something that Jamaicans love. The whole fun and excitement that you can able to do that. And the ATV give them an additional stuff that's just super fun. I mean, locals are always coming here. We have special rates, special packages designed for our locals. We also ensure that we include our locals in everything. And our locals are treated just as anybody else. Do you have a lot of tourists too? We do have a lot of tourists that come in. We have them coming from everywhere. The unique thing about us is that you can do any one tour that you want. For example, ADV, zipline, horse riding, or oh, lovely new concept, which is our push car. You can do that single, or you're able to do value-added packages. So we have any two tours that's called a combo, or any three tours that's a super deal. So you get those combos and super deals at a reduced rate. If you're looking for some adventurous stuff to do, looking for something fun, because fun is always on the menu here at Jamways, I would invite you to come and join us. Uh, i definitely looking forward to having you. If you wish to book any tours with John West, you'll be happy to know that they were very kind to provide a special 5% discount for the audience of Jamaica with Ivy YouTube channel. To book at this discounted rate, please follow the link in the description of this video or simply scan the QR code that you currently see on the screen. When entering your booking details, please don't forget to add your special promo code to get 5% off. Just type Jamaica with Irie as one word, all capital letters. Another important thing to mention here is that all Jamwest store prices include pick-up and drop-off from hotels in Negril and also in Montego Bay area, which is awesome because one-way transportation on its own from Montego Bay to Negril can cost about the same as the tour price with John West, which includes round transportation and the experience. So when making a reservation, just select the resort where you are staying or the closest one to your home or Airbnb in Jamaica and be ready there at the right time for pickup. Important, this video has not been sponsored by Jamwest. In fact, none of our videos are sponsored by companies or people we feature to share their stories. Instead, we're sponsored by you, the audience. So if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to give us a like so YouTube would promote this video to others. And of course, special thanks to our amazing team of patrons for their continuous contribution to our channel. They're the people who allow us to focus on making quality content about Jamaica. And if you also wish to join them, you can do so from only five US dollars per month. Now let's go back to Jam West and see why some people might not enjoy visiting them. Before booking any tour or activity, it's always important to set your expectations right. And here is what you need to know when it comes to John West. The first thing to remember is that it's an adventure park where you're going to spend at least a few hours. This means you might find yourself paying extra for things like food, drinks, to rent a locker, to buy souvenirs, to buy water shoes. And also, it is not allowed to bring your camera or phone during such activities as horseback riding and so on. So if you need photos, you will need to purchase them from the Photoshop mentioned earlier in the video. This is the reason why some people perceive places like these as tourist traps, because of all these extras. But the thing is, these extras and rules are not specific to just Jam West or Jamaica. This is how all adventure parks operate in any country. Disney World also charges extra for food and photos. This is just a part of adventure park business model. If this is not your cup of tea, then fine, make sure to choose other activities in Jamaica. But if you do want an ACV ride and you're coming to an adventure park, just keep these things in mind and come prepared. Like Bring your own water shoes if you are also planning water activities. It is also good to have cash if you want to purchase extras and keep an eye on prices if your budget is tight. The second thing I've noticed is that these tours can be inconvenient because of the waiting times. 
And this issue always comes up because these are group tours. So every member has to be taken into account, especially when these group tours also include transfers. By the way, this is relevant not only to John West tours, but to any group tours in Jamaica. So if you want to have more control of your time, the option would be to rent a car and drive by yourself or hire a private taxi that would take you around. The last thing I have to mention here is that some people seriously think that Jamaica is a small island. Any experience you book, you'll be there in like 20 minutes. Well, it's two hours drive one way from Montego Bay to Negril and two hours back. And imagine you've booked just the zip line. Even if you don't have to wait for other guests, it's still way too much driving for just one activity like zip line. So that's why it's better to book a combo, at least two activities especially if you're coming all the way from Montego Bay. And then plan to spend a day at Jump West, like bring a swimsuit so you can go for a swim. So it will be worth the drive from wherever you live in Jamaica or from your resort. ATVs here are not really about racing. No, it isn't. Or ATV go along a trail, a man mangrove era splash zone. We go along the coastal line of an unspoiled beach into a fishing village community. So you can see persons going out for their local catch. And if you may want to be able to, let's say, grab fish from them when they're there and come back to our clubhouse right here and have somebody grill it for you, that can be done. So we curate experiences here at Jamwest. all that dusty of course we do in fact have bathroom facilities so you can get a shower put on some fresh clothes all so right. that's not a problem okay good, all right good. don't all let good. that spoil the fun all right <laughs> get dirty then you can get showered. <laughs> all right so this is a rest stop for the ATV remember it's eight miles so definitely we can't make it right eight miles we have to take a break so this is Salmon Point where we stop a small mini bar here you want to grab a water, beer, back on the trail again for the rest of the four miles. Definitely it's a cozy spot, relax with the locals here. You get to know a bit more about Jamaica, right here in Salmon Point. A lot of activities. Look at me. <laughs> I'm all with this. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh well. It turned out to be so much fun. Like, I totally didn't expect that. I, I felt like a child again, getting dirty with, with all these splashes on a bumpy road. Today, my life is full of so much serious stuff. And I'm sure a lot of people from my audience can relate to that. So it felt so good just to forget about it all and unwind for at least a little bit and to have no serious thoughts. It was a really uplifting experience and of course major part was also the John West team who was just full of these positive vibes. So overall I was very skeptical, didn't expect much and maybe that's why it was rather easy to exceed my expectations. So to me it wasn't some adventure but rather it was fun that's probably the best word to describe it in any case i hope you have found this video useful let me know what you think about atvs have you done this experience and if not would you like to do it please write your comments below and if you wish to book with john west don't forget the five percent discount promo code for our audience and the link to book is in the description thank you so much for watching my name is irena and i'll see you in the next one
Bye for now.